Hello and welcome to this week's RC News Flash. We kick off with Arma. Did you know that Arma is 10 years old? They're celebrating their birthday right now. I don't remember Arma for 10 years, from 10 years ago. They, they still seem like the new boys, don't they? But, partly, they've been around for 10 years, despite the best efforts of Traxxas. To celebrate their birthday, there goes my phone, to celebrate their birthday, happy birthday Arma, they have released a 10th anniversary outcast. So they've got the 6S BLS BLX rather, the 6S BLX Outcast, they're releasing a limited edition 10th anniversary version of that, of which there are only 500 being released worldwide. So if you want one, there's only a small window really. Uh, the This 10th anniversary version has uh, a different look to it. It has different uh, bodywork graphics, different colour scheme, has a little number plate, little licence plate if you're in America or North America. Um, you know, saying 2009 to 2019. Um, has laser etched chassis which looks really trick. I really love the look of that laser etched chassis. They ha it also has what they call clear anodizing on the aluminium parts. But it just means they're silver. So rather than where you would find black and red anodizing on the standard Outcast 6S, you will find silver anodizing. And that includes, you know, the center chassis brace, the uh, shock shocks. Well, I was going to say the shock caps, but the shocks. Um, the wheel nuts, that sort of thing. Yeah, um, the, what else is there? Really, no, it's just a, it's literally just an aesthetic overhaul. The specs are identical. The specs are absolutely identical. It's purely aesthetics, um, which, you know, fine. Luckily enough, the price is also, the list price is also identical. If you want the limited edition version, you will like the way it looks, or you like the idea that you've got one of, you know, only 500 in the world, um, you don't need to pay anything extra. So if you like it and you're in the market for an outcast, you can feel free to go for that one. It won't cost you anything extra. That's a nice touch. Fine. Nice way to celebrate. Here's some aesthetic differences. It looks trick. It looks a little bit different and it won't cost you any more. Cool. So yeah, happy birthday, Arma. On to Team Lossy and they're releasing a slight evolution of one of their existing models. The Team Lossy Tenacity DB Desert Buggy, 1 tenth scale, 4x4, four four, is getting a Pro version. Lossy Tenacity DB Pro. The Pro version features an aluminium chassis, which means you no longer get a, the a bottom loading, which actually some people were complaining about. You know, People are mixed about bottom loading trays. On the old one, you would, without taking the body shell off, you'd flip it over and take that off. That's how you get to the battery. With the new one, you've got to take the body shell off and that's how you get to the church into the battery in a more traditional way because the aluminium chassis. It also has uh, aluminium shocks all around, not just the shock caps, but the whole shocks, the shock body and all. Whereas the, on the standard version, all the shocks, shock caps, and bodies were plastic. On top of that, the standard version had non adjustable links and turnbuckles completely, just plastic, non adjustable. The newer one, the Pro, comes with turnbuckles at the front, which allow you to adjust the camber and toe in and at the back just the camber. So sort of basic stuff. I'm very surprised the standard DB, I was going to say DB Pro, the standard Tenacity DB didn't have that in the first place. It seems weird to me because it's a lossy. It's not like some Chinese brand. But anyway, that that always, that always surprised me. But anyway, this has been fixed with the Pro. Fixed with the Pro. There's nothing wrong, wrong with the Tenacity. Apparently it takes a beating, but just saying. Just saying. Um, the performance will be different between the two. But I don't know how different because I have no experience with either. The old one, I say the old one, it's still getting sold. The standard one has the uh, dynamite fuse system, which is found in a lot of Team Lossy models. The new one, the Pro, comes with the brand new Spectrum Smart, uh, uh, well, Smart ESC, Smart Powertrain. So it's got a slightly lower KV which means it'll have slightly higher peak RPM, but slightly more torque. Don't know how the two of them will compare in terms of performance. Lossy still quote the same sort of top speed figures, so who knows? Probably Lossy. <laughs> um, the biggest, the, the sort of more understated difference, but possibly the biggest in terms of performance is the newer one comes with fully licensed wheels. Fair enough, they look better than the old ones, but fully licensed Falcon tires that look a lot better than the old ones. We, as we know, Tires can make a huge difference. I don't know how good the old ones are, but the new ones look to be quite more substantial. And if they are a lot better, that's where your performance could come into it. So only a very slight evolution of the existing platform. 
Unfortunately, the list price is $100 more from 400 well, 399 but 400 to 500 but the le but the pricing generally is around about 70 to 80 dollars a difference it's quite a lot i mean all, obviously if you bought yourself an aluminium chassis and adjustable turn buckles and the new spectrum smart uh, powertrain and new wheels and tires and obviously uh, of course i didn't mention this a fully licensed body as well there's two of them there's a lucas oil and the fox i think i'm gonna have to look that up i think it's the fox racing one but that would come to more than 80 or or $100, but at the same time, on paper it doesn't look like much, and it is $100 more. If they get sold alongside each other, I can't see one taking sales off the other, really, because they're not quite in the same price category. But anyway, there we are. Looks okay. Team Corrale now, and they are entering the very competitive 110 scale rear-wheel drive monster truck market with the Mammoth SP. Now, the more I look at this, the more I like the look of it because it seems to tick all of the right boxes for a 110 scale affordable monster truck. It has full metal drivetrain. All the gears internally, the diff gears, the gearbox gears are metal. The drive shafts are steel as are the drive pins. So the drivetrain should be bomb proof. Great start, especially when it comes to the price point and I'll get to that. 550 sized 15 ton brushed motor. That's, you know, that's in the ballpark of a standard, ready to run, everyday monster truck. Fine, absolutely no problem with that. Should have enough power to lift the front wheels, no problem. Uh, brushed ESC, it's called something something 40, the name of it, so I'm assuming it's only 40 amps. Not amazing, but, you know, it's not the end of the world when you've got a, a, brushed, a brushed motor. Um, two or three S compatible, also runs nickel metal hydrides, obviously, uh, with a LiPo cutoff, so again, no worries there comes with 2.4 gigahertz system fine spot on pretty powerful servo nine kilograms of shove that is a lot especially for a budget brand or not as that's it team Crowley are not a budget brand i'll correct myself for a budget budget monster truck this is what this is they call it ready to run but it's not quite true it should be called an almost ready to run an artr because it doesn't have the battery doesn't have the batteries for the transmitter and it doesn't come with the charger so I think Kyosho would call it a ready set, but it should really be an ARTR. So anyway, there we are. But, you know, that's just, just to let you know. It, I mean, the truck is ready to run if you have those things available to you. But if you're new to the hobby, RTR shouldn't really be used in this regard. But anyway, there we are. Um, looks good. It looks like a standard sort of very high up, narrow, monster truck chassis. Very much like Matthew's Ruckus. Long wheelbase, again, very much like the Ruckus. Uh, list price or retail price of $219, I believe. It might be euros. I should check that right now. Euros. It was euros. I checked. It's euros. 219 euros. Very good price, really, as far as I'm concerned, for a what looks like a very competent, you know, bulletproof drivetrain. Threaded shocks, so adjustable shocks, a standard. You know, all all good stuff for 219 euros. That's a, that's a pretty good setup, I think. Um, should be very competitive in the one tenth monster truck market. Let's just hope, and they say this, they do say this, hope the spare support will last. But they do say on the website that's what they intend to do. So, fingers crossed. And finally, we have a bit of a beast from MCD Racing, the specialists in very large scale petrol powered RC cars, comes the XS5 Max, which is a one quarter scale, so that's a big, big RC car, one quarter scale mid-engine supercar they do lots of variants of the same platform the same basic platform the buggy rally cross cars all the rest of it which can be converted back and forth between each one this is no exception you can convert your existing mcd if you have one into the xs5 max or vice versa two versions there's the xs5 max and the xs5 max pro the pro version comes with a whole raft of upgrades so i won't list them they'll be in i'll put the link below you can see it one of which includes a barracuda tune pipe which is what they do with all, all the other ones which could give it a little bit more grunt um no white no word i was gonna say no weiss because i was saying word on price no weiss yet um but expect to pay because the uh, other models within the MCD range of equivalent spec cost you around about one and a half grand without an engine. So you will be paying for this. However, 
who you're in the market for one of these things, you could do a lot worse. Um, looking at the uh, the XS5 Max, it's a sight to behold. It looks like a technical marvel for a start. Everything is massive. Everything is beautifully anodized. Everything is so well laid out. The center of gravity is extremely low. They have claimed they've done real active development and research, and real scientists has, science has gone into producing real um, aerodynamic downforce and balance between front and back based on the downforce. So if that's the case, you, you might be looking at something quite special. Looks like it's doing about a million miles an hour standing still. It should be capable of, according to the website, 80 miles an hour depending on engine. Uh, they recommend anywhere between 23 to 32 cc, which obviously means 32 cc. And yeah, uh, completely out of my price range by about 10,000%. But if you're looking for one, enjoy. And now on to videos of the week and a shout out. RC video of the week this week goes to Bubble Wrap 1. Bubble Wrap 1. Steve and Matt Bishop, father and son team, who run the, uh, or fly, the Reds Duo RC Red Arrows, the one third scale. Um, I'll put the link to their most recent video. All of their videos are, are, are you know, they're all brilliant and they're all involving aerobatics and stuff. It's just the latest one is the only one I could find with decent weather because Britain. So that's what I've chosen. Video of the week this week goes to, and I wasn't planning on doing this, but because I looked up the RC Red Arrows, I decided to, you know, re, re, what's the word? Reacquaint. Reacquaint was the word. Decided to reacquaint myself with the real RAF and um, stumbled across the centenary 100 year anniversary of the RAF last year, 2018, um, the centenary display for the Red Arrows on that event. And oh my goodness, I couldn't help but show this one because as great as the dual RC Red Arrows are, nothing compares to the real ones. I mean, you think that the RC ones are close and then you realize that the real ones with real people inside are feet apart at hundreds of miles an hour doing stunts. It's incredible. I've seen them live before, but they're just mind-blowingly amazing, the RAF. So, or rather, the red, RAF Red Arrows is what I meant to say. So, yes, check that out. If you've never seen the Red Arrows before, maybe you're not from the UK, you're in for a treat. So, yeah, enjoy. That's the video of the week, definitely. And shout-out this week goes to Alan from Tay Models because... Not only did he allow me to come along and film and stuff, and he's always like that, but also for willingly losing money. <laughs> because he said if enough people vote for the FTX Toro to be run and as a demo, he could sell that at cost price as opposed to selling it new or unused at full price. And inevitably, everybody's like, run it! So, yeah. Nice one, Alan. You've just cost yourself money. And that's it, everybody. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.